So we are here at Web Summit in Lisbon and I talked to George here from Comma AI and he, uh, he's done a number of nice things, hacking some, uh, some, some phones, etc. But he's now making an uh, open software for Android and he positioned it as um, Tesla Autopilot is the iPhone and he is the Android of Autopilot. So let's talk to him. So George, where are you with your software uh, now in 2017? It's pretty good. Uh, it's certainly better than Autopilot was when it came out. Um, I don't know how AP2 is doing. It might be better than AP2. Uh, it's open source. It's pretty good. Uh, we've got 150 users out there with the whole platform working and having the software drive their car today. I can download it from GitHub and, uh, and I can install it myself. And uh, how, much, how much does it cost in terms of hardware to adapt one of the cars? Um, so hardware-wise, basically you're just going to need a phone and an interface. We sell an interface for $99. The phone is like a $400 phone. It's cheap. Uh, or you can buy the, the prepackaged thing from us and modify it. Um, okay. so cars it, have already the drive-by wire and all the, all the things they need from the bus? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't, we, we're not putting motors on the steering wheel. It's way too hard. <laughs> so what cars are available uh, to be installed, your, to have your software installed on by now? Um, Honda Civic, uh, Acura ILX, very soon Honda Accord, and all Toyota with TSSP. You say there are uh, forks which work with Tesla. Yeah, there's a fork which works with the old, the classic Tesla Model S it just came out with. It's pretty cool. So, so I can replace it. And, and do, what do people say about the quality of your software of Autopilot 1 with uh, Mobileye and your stuff? It's really more for people who have a Tesla before Autopilot. They can install our software. If you have a Tesla with Autopilot, if you have an iPhone, don't run Android on it. You know. How do you position your software compared to uh, from a Tesla compared to, uh, uh, to but compared to yours? Tesla's not our competition. Our competition is legacy automotive manufacturers. Um, Android didn't compete with iPhone. It competed with Nokia and BlackBerry, and it killed them. So you basically say um, Tesla will do a good job in vertical integration. Will make it. You you think that they can make a good product, but the rest will have a problem. Absolutely. Why do you think that the ones which are now working the hardest, like BMW and Mercedes, they're working the hardest on, uh, on autonomous driving? Why will they not succeed? Because they're the Nokias and the Blackberries. They're the old era smartphones. They don't think in the modern ways of software development. What kind of things about software, modern software development do, don't, do they, don't they get? Updates every four weeks. And also over the air updates. They have a hard time doing that. <laughs> well, what are you going to do, roll your car into the shop every four weeks? Of course over the air. How much time do you need to go from uh, to, to make a good level uh, two software, which basically works on not only on the highway but also the provincial roads? We've been doing this for like two years. It works pretty well. Anything that's like divided that has like a line, it'll work pretty well on. And what is your roadmap to go to uh, level three? I think about a week in advance. You think about a week in advance, but you need more cameras. After a while, you need more cameras. You need more sensors. Is that in your uh, is that in your uh, idea, um, or is that next too too much next week? Absolutely, absolutely. We understand that you're not going to get to level four with the sensors we have, but you can ship something way beyond anything that's shipping today with just what we have. If you look at uh, what is your model, I mean, you have a small company. Uh, how many people are in there? I don't know. I'm, I'm here to talk about software, not business. But, but you're not really interested in, uh, in, in doing business. You really basically say, pick my software and use it and integrate it. Oh, we are 12 people. So we are a company. You do need substantial resources to be able to do this. But um, no, I mean, look, I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this to win. Uh, but how, what is your business model? How do people work with you? We are practically profitable already. If you're a company, the only way you can work with us, we don't do business development. The only way to work with us is to clone our stuff on GitHub and use it. And then how can I basically have an, uh, you know, a paying uh, relationship with you? How can you make money from working together with you? You can buy my hardware, shop.com.ai. You can also buy hoodies. Buy a hoodie. Okay, that's a great business model. Hey, thank you very much. We appreciate it.